Oh, my gosh, man. This has to be one of the most diabolical, sinister characters we've seen in a long time on a TV series. Uh, this is, no, 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 really. When I watch this, you know, the CW, you got to go to the CW to see Black Lightning. Um, it airs Tuesdays, 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. on the CW. Yeah. And I was watching it, and I realized that there was this guy on there that played this character. He's the leader of a gang, right? The, yeah. the, the, the 100 gang. And he, and he was, you know, he was, used to do local politics or whatever, but really a corrupt, criminal-minded, just assassin-type guy. And I was like, yo, who is this dude that they got playing this dude? And I look, because he looked a little skinnier than he used used to look. You know, I looked, and I looked, and I looked, and I said, he must have got ready for the big screen or something you know i looked i said i know that voice and i looked and it was my homie yeah crying down from yeah. strong arm steady lady hey, yes, what's going yes, on family yes. hey. what's up with the sway universe man yeah. i love y'all i watch y'all so much and i've been here a couple of times been yeah. blessed to be here a few times i think and yeah. um i watch y'all though so religiously and it's just oh. such a good show How and what you guys love. have grown into Thanks. I'm really, 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 really happy and proud to say that I've been here. Yeah, you know, man. I'm back so, now, so. But you know, it's our, our links. When we see each other, people yeah. like us who go DJ Khalil. Oh, you know, man. it's all the strong arms. Sway, y'all like know that. he started my career. You know, like he really did it for. I've been rapping 17 years, 18 yeah, years. It's like my 18th year. Yeah. And he started that. You know, he was one of the first persons, people to him and um, King Tech, mm -hmm. and DJ Revolution. Yeah. Carmelita were the first people to really embrace me as an artist. Um, if you go look on YouTube, I always tell people this to go look. Really? On YouTube, yeah, yeah. always. Because people don't know that was my first time on radio. When you came up on the Wake Up Show? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, that was my first time wow. on radio. I was I was wow. an artist coming out of um, <laughs> South Central Los Angeles on the underground circuit in um, the late 90s. And it was an incredible uh, lyricist who's still incredible and still working named Raz Kaz, mm -hmm. who was a, a, a mentor of mine yeah. um, and a friend of mine and believer in me. And he said, you know, I want to take you somewhere and, and pick me up him and a cat named Cannabis, who's, I don't know. Oh, that talk guy. about it. Speak on it. Keep going. And, and they took me to the wake up show. Yeah. And they, and they, and I was just riding in the car. I'm going to mm. be honest. I was just riding in the car and they were like, uh, no, you're going to rap. <laughs> yeah. And that was the beginning for me. You can go look that up, too. It's on YouTube. People always... Well, the thing, we, we used to film when people weren't filming. Yeah, that you was know? early. Yeah, yeah. Boy, I trip off of that. Yeah, that was so early before YouTube even existed or anything. Yeah, like we that. were filming. We didn't know why, what we were doing. We just mm -hmm. were documenting mm -hmm. all these years of the mm -hmm. wake up show. You know how much footage me and Tech got at the house in Tarzan? I remember y'all put. A, yeah. I remember you guys did a, like a, a compilation or like yeah. a video or something the with all, a lot of this stuff. stuff. I remember. Yeah. I think I got that somewhere in the garage yeah. somewhere. Yeah, that's just a smidget of yeah. what we haven't put out. Right. Right. We don't, it's so much stuff it's so, ridiculous this is my brother basically yeah, 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 yeah. I love him so much yeah. you know and I'm no, so happy to be too, here man. Nah, man I'm proud of you man because you. we had um, um, Ava DuVernay up here hey you know Ava I, I, she's a mentor of mine too she doesn't know it yeah I have, okay. I've met her actually. I met her at the Golden Globes mm -hmm. um, this year. Did he just stunt? Was 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 did Carl Don just say Golden Globes? I didn't mean, did it, he say that? It was the after party. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, but it was the the Globes party, and um, I went up to her and, and told her that I, I really love what she's doing and mm -hmm. who she is and what she represents yeah. um, in the world right now, and that she is a mentor of mine. I told her that. She didn't know. We got to have mentors that mm -hmm. we know and that we don't. Right, know. Yeah. mentally. Uh, yeah. she, she used to. Be at the good life. No, and Ava yep. comes. She had a no, rap, rap crew. We talked that. about it because you know I knew. So she talked about. It. She what was the name by, of the group? I might remember. Well, she used to go by Eve. Her rap name was Eve. Was like Eve. Eve. What like, was the group? I'm trying to think of the name of the group. She didn't uh, want to say what. Are we'll you get serious? It. We'll pull it up. Yeah, I forgot it. Uh, to, oh, I got it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. pull it up. We'll pull it up. But the point is, yeah. You just you know when you're creative, you never know. Where it may where it may lead you. Very true. No. You know, and if you're really passionate about your craft and and, and, and being a creative person and, and being inside of your art, we wouldn't have never guessed that day that you came up there with cannabis and, and Razcast that I'll be watching you on a CW uh -huh. playing a role and playing like you know how hard it is to watch a friend on TV or in a movie and not separate the friend from the character? Yeah. I don't like Tobias, man. Oh. <laughs> but I love you. <laughs> because you are killing it. Thank like, you, man. Yeah, the, your timing. Um, yeah. 
your delivery. Oh man, you know, and 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 I bet too. And if I'm mistaken, you tell me. Um, the fact that you're albino, right? Yeah. Um, as a kid, you probably had to face a lot of adversity. Totally, yeah. Yeah, but because of that, it's part of the reason that you got the role. Uh, the, well, it has yeah a, a lot to do with it. Yeah. Um, like I've gotten roles before that had nothing to do with it. Uh huh. And then this role, which is my biggest role, and and thank you first of all for saying those wonderful things. Oh, absolutely, um, man! You're of, killing of, it about my work. I I really um, first of all got to give it all to God. I mm-hmm. I wouldn't have thought that God had this journey mm-hmm. before me. Mm-hmm. Um, but by the grace of God, you know, mm-hmm. when, when you saw me as that kid, I, you know, I was still a teen yeah. at, at, when I came to the Wake Up Show at mm-hmm. that time. Um, so you can do the math on that. I yeah. tell my age. Um, <laughs> you're young, whatever yeah, it is, you're young. Uh, yeah. so. <laughs> and, 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 you know, God has um, things that are planned for us that we know not mm-hmm. at the time. But in truth, um, he is preparing us for them, mm-hmm. whether we know it or not. You know, and I think that's where the beautiful saying that can no one stop what God has planned for you comes from, mm-hmm. because you don't know him either. So you can't even stop him yourself. Um, and and I, I think that at this point, you know, it's, it's just a journey. It, and like you say, when you're a creative and you're an artist, you know, there's no real parameter on that. Mm-hmm. If you're truly a creative and an artist, you know, I mm-hmm. think our genre of of music that is hip hop and rap that I love dearly and have given a majority of my life to at this point. Yeah. Um it it a lot of times it it gives us a stigma and it pigeonholes the the artists themselves mm-hmm. and it, it allows themselves to create you know it to create boundaries for our own artists mm-hmm. and artists for themselves to create those boundaries based off of the you know the braggadocio yeah. context that we come from mm-hmm. you know and 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 actually you know i think the poverty stricken context that we come from in its original root now you know rap doesn't necessarily come from that yeah now now um but in the, in the original you know context of rap it was you know something that came from the slums you know mm-hmm. and it was poverty stricken so that you know you're gonna have you know the elements that that rang true in it. You know mm-hmm. the braggadocio, the me, 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 um, the, the 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 love for material things and mm-hmm. things like that. So it's to be expected. But I think that now, you know, I've been able to see through a couple of generations. Yeah, and have you know examples like Most Deaf and yeah. Common and mm-hmm. Method Man, Exhibit, who's my brother, mm-hmm. and and an example that was a close at close proximity that I would see, well, okay, what well, those boundaries that we kind of came into in rap are no longer there. Those ceilings. Yeah, those ceilings. Like, yeah. there is no ceiling now. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I kept going with that, you know, mm-hmm. from entrepreneurship and 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 then, you know, taking that skill of acting very seriously. Okay. You know, we can, this point. And, then, and then when you see it, I saw a scene with you and um, Jill Scott. Yeah. Shout she out play, to Jill. She plays Lady Eve. Lady Eve, yeah. There's a lot of Eve going around yeah. right there. By the way, Figures of Speech was the name of Ava. Hey! That's Ava. Figures of Speech. Wow. Yeah. God is good. See, that's God is good. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't have known that. Yeah. But are you, and, we, and, yeah. and I know Figures of Speech. Yeah. Ava was um, <laughs> Eve. Wow. You know. You, 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 you talk to Adrian Miller? All the time. Uh, all the time. All the time. Talk to Adrian. <laughs> He'll give you the back. Adrian Miller manages Anderson. Anderson Pack. Pack yeah. yeah. Shout but, out to but, Adrian. He manages. Um. Uh, oh gosh. My, my, it's early. The yeah. brother that played Tupac, to ship. Um, Demetrius. Demetrius. Yeah. Demetrius. He manages yeah. him too Demetrius. on the acting side because we've been talking. Um, um. And I have management, but we were, we were talking on a lot of different things. But um, Adrian's a great, great brother, man. Yeah. I've been knowing him for so long. So I'm trying to paint a picture of the, the environment we come from, and I yeah. say we because we all. Kind of, we Tech and I were there obviously before um, you started really coming. If your first time to the radio station was 18, 19 years ago, we, yeah, we got you beat by a couple years. Um, <laughs> uh, but it was it's so many people who came from that talent pool, like right. even strong. Name all the strong arm steady crew. Oh, uh, so many, man. Um, well, of course, Phil the Agony, Phil the Ag, I love uh, Phil. Mitchy Slick, uh-huh. um, Exhibit, of course, Exhibit, um, Chase Infinite, of Chase, course. Who, who manages, uh, who is, yeah, the the man behind. ASAP Rocky, Rocky and ASAP um, Worldwide, uh-huh. um, um, DJ Khalil, Khalil who who's a multi-Grammy for... award-winning producer who's produced everything from, on every and album from Dr. Eminem Dre. to yeah. Anderson Pack, Dr. Yeah. Dre, yeah. Yeah. everybody, Jay-Z, everybody. Yeah. Um, Planet Asia, of Planet course. Asia. Yeah. Um, the illest MC. Yeah. You know? 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. But, but it's a lot of them. So many. Yeah. And it, I mean, cats, you know, that aren't even, you know, rappers. I'm naming like the artist. Uh -huh. You know, you got Brock Corson, who's uh -huh. um, Brock Marciano. You might know him on social media, yep. who's an incredible AR uh -huh. and, and music mogul at this point, you know, uh -huh. and music has artists and is was behind Kendrick Lamar's last album and so many great things. Yeah. Um, he's just great overall. Yeah. Proud of him. And, um, I'm 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 missing some people who are mad. Okay, you but you know, no, 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 no. Listen, to those who weren't named, we go. I want people yeah. to go actually to Google. Strong yeah, arms, strong steady, steady, yeah, because we are okay. collective of of good brothers, of good people, creative yeah. folks, and, yeah. and it's a lot of people who listen who don't see what's in their future. Right, you know, like strong arm steady crew. Exhibit didn't know he'll be doing Pimp My Ride, mm -mm. you know. Uh, Empire. Empire. That, I mean, and everything. Any of those things. Yeah. Yeah. Khalil didn't know he was going to be working with all these people. Planet yeah. Age is like one of the most successful indie artists traveling the Ever. world. And he's one of the best rappers right now rapping right now? on the okay. mic by far. Yeah. So to folks to who are listening who got a collective of creative people around you, you could be in yeah. Ohio or you could be in Iowa or you could be anywhere. Oh, yeah. If you're, if you're dedicated to that craft, um, you never know where it may le lead you. You know, never know. You never know. Uh, I mean, you. I mean, look. Up, I mean, you are an example of that too. I think mm -hmm. Heather B is an example of that as well. Yeah. Thank you. You. You have. Um, and shout out to you. I didn't come give you a hug. Tracy G or Heather. Okay. We were uh, all hugging okay. everybody. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're all examples of that. Yeah. We represent that. I think. Um, again, the limitations that we set are set before us are usually set on ourselves. Uh huh. So if mm -hmm. we lift that up. Who knows where we're going to go? You know, I mean, um, a mentor of mine who is a mentor of mine that I actually know and is a big, a, big, a great friend of mine. And he's been actually so influential in my development as an actor, okay. whether he knows it or not, um, in, in person and just what he does on screen. And that's Mahershala Ali. I thought mm. he was about to say, he's about to drop a name. He's about to drop yeah. a name. Mahershala yeah. Ali, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know where he's from, Heather. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, shout out to the Bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out to the Bay. Yeah, shout out to the Bay. Because he's not just from California, he's, he's from, from the Oakland. Bay. Yeah, you got to be specific. Oakland, <laughs> and, and me being from Los Angeles, him being from the Bay, um, you know, again, I... I I, I give the glory to God that I'm able to even talk to that man, yeah. you know, and even before I went into Black Lightning. And um, he's been, a, again, a, a great, you know, confidant and a voice of encouragement um, and do's and don'ts. And my point, though, is those that don't know that he came from music as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, okay. And, you know, he's another example of just you know, being talented and mm -hmm. not knowing and not having a ceiling. And, um, and he studied professionally for acting and drama too as well. But I mean, he's a great rapper yeah. as well. So you don't know, you know, what can happen. And you, I mean, we're seeing now with, with the new artists, a lot of the new artists yeah. that come, um, to the game, especially in rap, mm -hmm. um, that they come to the game. Uh -huh. With no ceiling. Yeah. They have, you know, um, when you look at a Donald Glover or a, uh -huh. a, a Nipsey Hussle even, uh -huh. you know, uh, Nip's not an actor, and Donald is, but, you know, they're both incredible, but they don't necessarily have a ceiling of what they, they're able to do and right. willing to do uh -huh. as artists um, and entrepreneurs. So, um, and those are two of my favorite new artists, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, and, and because of that, I, I, I think that. You know, we just got to keep going in that direction. Got to keep. Well, you're doing it, man. If you're not watching Black Lightning, you got to watch it. Um, it's a it's a real great plot to Black Lightning. Yeah. You know, and it's it's you can't guess it. You don't you no. don't you don't know what's going to happen next. It's a good time too. You know, you're seeing a lot of um, diversity coming out of Hollywood, right? Yeah, I I love that word. I've been talking about that word all weekend. Diversity. <laughs> diversity. Yeah, You're man. just seeing more representation <laughs> of, of, of different folks, right? You're seeing a, um, yeah, you're, diversity is a good thing, and it's a, it's a great thing to um, be taking over Hollywood right now. I'm happy to be a part of it. One unique thing about Black Lightning, um, and shout out to Salim Akil mm -hmm. and, and Mara Brock, I kill the creators. Mm -hmm. Um, of Black Lightning and so many other wonderful shows. Mm -hmm. um, they are visionaries and and they're genius to me. I was just I just told Salim last night he's a genius man because um, let's name some of that work girlfriends. Oh yeah oh. yeah for sure girlfriends of course you guys know that uh -huh. um, being Mary Jane, Jane. Mm -hmm. um, the Mo game Moesha yeah yeah Mara wrote on Moesha. Uh -huh. um, I'm, I'm forgetting something I know right well, now. But that's enough, man. That's all right. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's enough. Yeah, right yeah they, they soul food. So, uh -huh. um, Go Google the rest. Um, um, <laughs> Shalim directed Jumping Over the Broom. I don't know if you guys saw that. So, yeah. um, Salim Akil is a, just, like I say, a jewel of a man. And he gave me an opportunity 
uh, to represent back to the word diversity, mm -hmm. um, a, a an expansion on that word. Because if mm -hmm. you look at Black Lightning, right, you've mm -hmm. been watching, right? I've been watching, yeah. And 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 it's not just a cliche when I say this, guys. Please know that you know it's the blackest show on television. Uh huh. Uh, and I say that because in the in the you know scheme of diversity in the spectrum of diversity, you have. Uh, every shade of black and we know that black comes in 36 shades and we know that um, you can't really necessarily put a finger on the color of black because look at this room here yeah it's a wonderful array of black here mm -hmm. you know and from one extreme to the next uh, me being one you know I'm on the say the far left of it, and my brother around there might be on the far right of it. <laughs> Come on, you <laughs> right? So, so, so you have that that, that spectrum, <laughs> and I say that with respect and love, my brother. So uh, you, know, you can lend me some chocolate. melanin, he's my a, brother, yeah. please. It's a beautiful so, chocolate. You, 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 you know, he's albino, like y'all on the opposite yeah, side. Exactly, that's, that, yeah. and that's that was my point. Yeah. So, so you have this 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 gauge on Black Lightning, where uh -huh. you where you see the full spectrum of black. Mm. You see the full spectrum of diversity. And and everyone on the show in that spectrum has a true story. Yeah. You know, and besides me, yeah. we're, all, we're all positive. You all you're so positive. <laughs> you're you positive. Know, and I think that that's a good thing. I did think, you kill your dad? Did your character? I did. Yeah, 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 I seen yeah. you played, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the scene I played. Yeah, shout out to T C Carson if y'all know him. He's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Um and a wonderful actor. He played my dad, yeah. and I had to kill him. Mm. That was a, an emotional mm. scene for me to yeah. do. Yeah, um, he squeezed him to death, dog. Yeah, yeah, Damn. yeah. Broke his back. <laughs> Light work. Damn. But, but, you know, lured him in with a hug. Yeah. You know, because his the father, did the, I'm not sure, the father didn't, the father was a horrible father. He but, was a horrible dad. But he took care of you and the sister. Yeah, he took care of me and the, our, our mother. Um, I have a sister um, who's um, passed away, if you're keeping up with the show. Yeah. Named Tori Well. Mm hmm played by Edwina Finley, who's an incredible actress. Mm -hmm. and shout out to Edwina, it's my sister. Um, she is passed away now. And and our father was a horrible man. His his idea was that he was doing us a favor mm -hmm. as, as instead of a duty. And he was not um, aware, or his IQ, his EQ and mm -hmm. his AQ, Mm -hmm. weren't um, high enough for him to understand having a child within a, a difference, a genetic difference that is albinism. Yeah. And he was the main source of ridicule and... and um, To his child. Yeah, to, to me. Growing and up. And to, to my sister. So um, we had to do away with him. Did, did, did that ridicule, even though it was written in fiction, yeah. um, as an actor but as a human being... Mm -hmm. uh, were you able to draw off of that from your childhood? Did, did you receive that kind of ridicule? As a, um... Not to the extent that we showed, um, uh -huh. to be honest. Uh, well, And not from my parents. Uh huh. That's the thing. Um, I didn't receive that from my parents. But what about kids? But like... from other kids. Yeah, yeah, kids are very honest. Uh -huh. and, and me being a father of two, they are very honest and, and loving at the same time. Uh -huh. I don't think kids ever do anything with a, an intent of harm at a certain age. Yeah. Then it gets to a point where it, it, it does become, I think, you know, have, it has a point mm -hmm. and an intent behind it at a certain point. So I'll be honest, I've, I've been able to see both sides of that. You yeah. know, I've experienced as a child coming up a lot of uh, bias and ignorance. I like to call it, yeah. um, based off of, um, being an African American with albinism and uh -huh. growing up in the hood, uh -huh. you know, where in my neighborhood I was the only at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and and if you don't know the statistics on on albinism, we're one in thirty thousand. Yeah, you know, genetically and from all forms too. The albinism is that's the one thing that people need to know. That albinism is a genetic indifference. That the only thing that that makes a person with albinism different than a person without albinism is the the ability to produce melanin mm -hmm. and all living things all god's cre uh, creations have this genetic indifference mm -hmm. and i think that that's the unique thing that that um albinos represent yeah. in in the world that there is one god truly that created us all have you and brother ali ever sat down and shared oh that's my brother we yeah. talk all the time that's my mm -hmm. brother yeah that's yeah i always, i got i got a saying always um uh, 
because when I'm in the Midwest, especially, uh, people think I'm Brother Ali. So <laughs> so yeah. It used to happen. It's albino too, yeah, Brother and, Ali. Yeah, yeah, and that's again another, you know, yeah. an ignorant, you know, that's yeah. like saying all black people look alike, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, but in truth, that is my brother. I always say, um, don't confuse me with Brother Ali. That's my brother, but that's surely not me. Yeah. And I say that with love because we always get that together. But that's my brother. I love him dearly. Um, mm -hmm. I'm actually, he's going to be on my new record. Oh, that, great. Wow. Yeah. When the new record coming? Um, You're not here to talk about that, but whatever. I'm not here to talk about that, no, yeah, yeah, at all. Yeah, okay. and, and, but, but truthfully, when I got the job, Sway, yeah. uh, for Black Lightning, uh -huh. um, and, and this is the truth. It's how you know God is in all details of things. Yeah. When I, when I got the job for Black Lightning, I was in the middle of working on my next solo album, my follow-up to Everything's Nothing, uh -huh. um, that's going to be produced entirely by evidence, a okay. dilated people. Dilated so, people, yeah. So I, I was in the middle with him, and um, and when I got the gig, so Black Lightning pulled me away from that album. Okay. And um, I hope to get time to finish it. Black Lightning just got renewed for a season two. Get your money. So... I'm, I'm excited and happy about that. Congrats. Uh, and and um, I know that that's going to keep us busy uh -huh. uh, when you guys see how the season, we only got two episodes left for this particular season. Uh -huh. And when you guys see how the, the season ends, you'll know why. I'm okay. excited about season two. I'll, I'll call you off air. Okay. <laughs> All right, hey man, you want to hang out a little bit? Sure, I'm here okay, with you. Okay, man, this is Marvin Crondon Jones the third. Oh, man. You can find, you don't mind me saying that? No, that's man, that's my name. That's your name. <laughs> Tobias <laughs> Well is the character he plays on Black Lightning. Yeah. On Tuesdays, 9 p.m. on the CW, man. Make sure you support it. We're going to come back with the NR room. room. All boys. right. Yeah. Yes, sir. My man, Cron Don, right there, man. I ain't heard that song in a while, man. Man, I dug Shout out to Chasing Cash, man. Yeah, man. I love Chasing Cash. I hope you heard that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, no, he's somewhere working. He works with everybody, man. I love him so much. And I. I haven't heard that in a while. Yeah, man. I dug like, one Please up. forgive me, y'all. I, I have to say this. You know what I, I run into, Sway? Me and my good brother, Rich, were just talking about this. Yeah. Um, which, last time I was in New York, mm -hmm. and I didn't come by your show, but I saw Rich. We hung out. Yeah, I did a show at his party. The uh, Soul in the Horn. Yeah, with me and The number one party in New York City. And yeah, it was so wild. It was... Yeah, I'm not going to go there, but <laughs> yeah. shout out to Rich. It's, shout the, most, to it's the most beautiful, so spirited, wavy. energy... Energetic party in New York City. Oh, so There's other crazy parties in New York City. I'm yeah. not knocking those, but if you want a beautiful experience. A beautiful experience, experience yeah. 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 It's that. Soul in so, a horn. Yes. Okay. And the show was popping. And the show before. was popping. I got video good. of that, by the way, too. So, anyway, the, the, the idea that, you know, you know, having a lot more eyes on me than yeah. I did as a rap artist, to be honest, because, you know, this is network television. Yeah. You know, and, and Tobias Well is a big guy. Yeah. Um, and pretty mean. Um, it's a trip because I, I see, I hear my perspective as an artist and a creative that Crondon is, uh -huh. you know, and sometimes he's even conflicted with even Tobias. Yeah. And and I, and I go, whoa. Yeah. I wonder what if they heard that. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're talking about the kids. Yeah. Like yeah. I got so many fans that are kids, man, like babies, man. Oh, they, they, they won't know? be able to tell the difference. You're okay. Tobias to them. Ah! You're not yeah. crying down to them. Yeah. <laughs> You're Tobias, trust yeah. me, man. Yeah, so thank you for playing that. Though, yeah, man. absolutely, man. Yeah. We got uh we got uh, Morris on the line who's been holding for a minute from Florida. Morris, good morning. How you doing? Hey Morris. Good, good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm a long time listener. Mom here. Returning citizen. That's what's up, man. Hey. Give it up for Morris, y'all. Morris. Yes. Mo better. Say what up to uh, Crondine. Marvin Crondine Cron Jones. What's, what's good with you, Crondine? Well, hey. I won 50 bucks off of you the other day, man. You won 50 off of me? I owe you $50? Basically, basically my cousin and I, we both fans of the show Black Okay, Light. okay, okay. She can, she hates your character, Tobias. <laughs> okay. And and I told her, no. I said, you know, that's Crondine. Uh. She's like, Ooh. <laughs> I'm like, Cron done. I said, the brother got it. The brother can rap. And, you know, yeah, so I told her to go to YouTube. Pull, she said, put money on it. I won the 50 bucks. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> wow. So you owe me $50. Yeah, it is. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> okay, okay. That's great. I'm kidding. Thank you, brother, man. I love you, man. That's that's a beautiful story, man, a testimony. I really appreciate that. Keep out, keep championing the Cron Don, man. All right. Hey, Morris, you're a citizen, baby. That's sweet, the morning. Let's get into that in our room. You know, I haven't heard your music, but word is you guys are hot. 
sizzling. Discovering new music is easy, but finding a hit record takes talent. Are you ready? Are you ready for the stage, big screen, TV? It's the A&R Room on Sway in the Morning. Right, we got an official uh, musical talented ear here, uh, Marvin Crondon Jones III. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and, but he was a, a music maker before he was on the screen. So we yep. thought we'd have you come into the a and room where we play music that people may have heard, may not have heard, artists you may know. I've been in the a and room Oh, that's right. What I'm talking about. I have yeah, music you know, in there. Yeah, yeah, you have music in the A&R room. So, yeah. uh, so we're going to play music, have people call up, and then you give your honest feedback. I'm all with it. All right. That's and then, good. citizens, we want you to give your honest feedback. Rich Nice, you go first. Okay, so there's an artist that's been um, – heating up and bubbling up on the underground and people been um, talking about him. His name is Saba and there's a song called Life. He has a project. Um, yeah, he's been on the show a few times. Yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, the care, I love Rich's radio. Care for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the care for me is the name of the full project. And the artist's name is Saba and the song is called Life. I wanted the citizens to check it out. Okay, this is Saba. It's called <laughs> Life. Chicago stand up. 888-742-3345. You guys call in. Tell us if you like it or not. Yeah. You in the AR room, this is Saba. It's called Life. Let us know what you think. Cron Don is here, man. So what do you think of that song, man? Uh, just, I like it. You like it? What do you like about it? Does it work? You think it um I like the beat. I like the, I like the beat. I like uh I like Bros Cadence. Uh-huh. What he was saying. I like uh, the fact that he incorporated melody uh-huh. and lyrics. Okay. Um I, I I do I like lyrics and melody too yeah. together equally and um he did that it's okay. got a new wave to it it's good yeah. all right Heather what do you think um it makes me curious like I've I I would want to know who is this you mm-hmm. know which is a good thing mm-hmm. these days um mm-hmm. yeah I like it. it it the the song makes me curious want to know more about him want to hear more from him as an artist good good uh blend of beats and lyrics tracy what do you think yeah i think it's really thoughtfully put together um because the sound is beautiful but then there's substance with it as well i think it stands out okay cool let's go to the phone lines 888-742-3345 yeah. alex in georgia what do you think of that Hi, song? alex alex yeah hey, what's up people you. loving the house loving the house what's up what's up what do you yep. think of the song man you like it or not no nah, it, it was fire i like it i like it i like it it was nice. It was nice. It was nice. Okay. Um. Yeah. Like when I had like you know I don't know if it 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 it, it, it sparked the name of a particular rapper in your mind when I heard, when I heard it I just I heard Kendrick immediately so that might be my only my only downfall of the song not 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 saying that it's bad but I get it it, it wasn't original it sounded like it sounded like Kendrick straight up. Okay, uh, that's fair enough. I think mm-hmm. backstreet, uh, backseat freestyle, and then also logic. Everybody, which was kind of a takeoff of Kendrick as well. It all comes back to that back backseat freestyle flow, uh-huh. especially the last part of the uh, verse. There. Okay, all right, hey man, thank you for your um, input, Alex. And then you can follow him at Saba Pivot on um, social media. S A B A Pivot. Uh, let's go to Indiana Norris. What do you think of the song? You like it or not? I like it a lot, Sway. Um, it was very melodic. I mean. And I've got a six-hour drive ahead of me right now, and I can feel myself, you know, float, you know, riding it that comfortably. Okay. You know, appreciating that flow. I like that. That's what's up, Norris. You're you you you're a citizen, Norris. Way in the morning. You got a road warrior right there. Ha, ha. Okay. Thank you, man. <laughs> Tina, what do you think? Tina's in the Midwest. Tina, Tina what up? I like it. I loved it. Okay. Very mellow. I liked it. I understood what he was saying. <laughs> it, it, it makes sense. Um, there were six words, and it doesn't make sense. I like what he was saying. This day and age, man, that's a that's a you know to be able to understand what somebody is saying. Ain't, no, that's, that's a privilege. That was, that was, like somebody needs to hire her at Double XL. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. I, I didn't, wait, wait. That sounded like a shot at Double XL. No, no, it wasn't. No, that wasn't. I, what I meant was that she no, it, is definitely. <laughs> You meant, you yeah, know, I know, you, I know. Yeah, okay. But you know, you know, but it sounds like she should be more the 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 person that is representing what's 
a criteria for rap right now. Okay. So that's you, what I mean. That's one criteria. You got to be under, able to understand <laughs> what they're saying. All right, we're going to play another song. Second song by DJ Wonder. Yeah, so Rich Nice has uh, been dealt blackjack. I can only hope for a push now, and maybe okay. Cron, Cron Down will like my song a little better if it goes down to the wire. My friend DJ Active from Philadelphia sent me a brand new song, and it's the return of one of my favorite rappers, P.D. Crack. Not Ooh. only Ooh. is it P.D. Crack, Featuring Miss Jade from Philly as well. Ooh, what about wow. Yang Ming? So it's called Cut It Up. It's off of DJ Active's new He's album. Cheating right the now. The tour. PD Crack. Cut It Up. PD Crack. Miss Jade. The artist is DJ Active. Wow. 888-742-3345. I think you're gonna like it. I haven't heard it yet. But let us know if you like it or not. Yeah, shout out to, yeah, DJ Active, ah, featuring PD Crack, Miss Jade, the name of the song is? Cut it up. What y'all think of this song, Crying Down, I'm going to start with you. I liked it. Okay. Yeah, it was moving, the the, the, it was, the vibe was right, ready for the club, PD sound crack still. It's still, man. Yep, Miss Jade sounding crack still. Mm-hmm. Um, Jalil Beats. Uh, yeah. Was that Jalil? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even hear the tag. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you yeah. heard yeah. it. You heard yeah. it. I didn't yeah. even know. Yeah. Liar. Yeah. Come on, man. Liar. Yeah. So, <laughs> buddy, dude. Fuck I thought, yeah, pants I, I, on I, fire. Yeah, he probably sent it to tag. you. I did hear the tag in the beginning <laughs> yeah. for sure. So I was like, oh, Jalil did it. Um, it's good. I yeah. like it a lot, man. It just, it, it, yeah, it give me that, that, that old, like, not, I don't mean old and bad, but like that old 90s, you yeah. know, yeah. Um, early 2000s wave. Uh huh. It's moving. It's good. It's good. All right. Turn Tracy, what do you think? I fuck with it. I'm, I feel like that's something that could work on like my treadmill playlist for when I be doing my hit workout. So mm -hmm. it's active. I'm here for it. Which which workout was that to be specific? Hit workouts. Mm -hmm. High intensity High interval intensity. training. Oh, oh shit. Oh. What the hell? That's an acronym? <laughs> <laughs> that's an acronym. Someone has a bit to the gym. No, somebody yeah. never. <laughs> yeah. That's not what anybody who goes to the gym in here. Really? Oh, Wonders, Yinka, Mike Muse. Five. Crime. Well, I know you go crime down. You have the person you used to be. Wow. What's that? Like? You know, it's funny. I look at old pictures. See, Sway, we got to talk about it. Now. Okay, so, all right. I, hold on now. Age, he, you got to go see this old picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. He posted a picture of me. Really? And I had to even comment on it. Yeah, yeah. Y'all didn't tell me I was that fat Brianna, yeah, man. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. ain't my niggas, man. man. I thought y'all, man. But everybody was kind of, you know, fat wasn't, you know, <laughs> in the music business, fat became a thing, though. You know what I mean? In the it 90s, because people were getting did. so much money that they, they didn't yeah. get, it kind of showed us. Yeah, Wayne had a line that said, they tell me I'm gaining weight, I yeah. tell them I'm getting paid. So. Yeah, no, and that's true. Money was different. Money was different. And, the, and yeah. But you're good now. Kelvin from Louisiana, <laughs> what you think, man? What you think of that song? You like it or not? Um, I think the song itself was decent. I'm not a big, big fan. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a overall fan of the actual song, okay. only because, like, I, I've listened to Petey Crack before. Mm -hmm. um, I know he got bars. You know, some of the bars, you know, with the the 90s hip-hop shout-out, I feel like that's what everybody's doing right now. Like, mm -hmm. Flatbush Zombies just had that track where they just, which they did it justice, I'm, uh, let me say that, but um, I don't know. I guess you, I guess You, I you didn't feel like it was up to par? No. Okay. I'd say that. I mean, overall, overall, I think it's a decent track. It'll probably get spins in the club. You could tell what they was going for with the beat. You know, uh, it's kind of club feel, kind of. I feel you, Kelvin. Kinda, All right, uh, thank you, man. You, 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 you don't have to, you know, he, he said what he said. I appreciate you. You're a citizen. Sway in the morning. All right, let's go to Arizona. Reggie, what do you think Arizona. of that track? Yo, what's up, Sway? What's up, homie? Not much. Just I was just dropping my kids off at the school when you played that PD Crack. Yeah, the kids are feeling it. They all look and turn, so got their <laughs> approval. I like it. I, you can understand what he's saying. The beat is dope. I dig it. Thumbs Another up. Okay. The criteria in rap. You can understand. <laughs> it what was the saying. same, but it's affirmed yet again. Yes, <laughs> Reggie, your citizen man. Take <laughs> note, well, Michael. What I up, understand. Mike? What do you think Michael. of the song? What up, brother? Oh man, he didn't even have to rap. The beat was so crazy. So you like it. It really it, it took me back to that old school like Busta, the Missy Elliott, where mm -hmm. you know it didn't have to really get to the words. But That's crazy. <laughs> I think that first guy was hating. You think the first guy was hating? <laughs> <laughs> me too. Thanks. Yeah, man. All right, Mike, you're a citizen, man. Way in the morning. All right, let's tally it up, Heather B. Let's be happy.
Two songs were submitted. One song by DJ Wonder, P.D. Crack, Cut It Up, featuring Miss J, DJ Active. Okay. Second song, Rich Nice, Saba, Life was the title of that song. By Clean Sweet, the winner this week is Rich Nice. Songboy Killer. 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 Saba. I want to submit a song. You can. Not my song, though. You can. Yeah. yeah. yeah I want to, I got a song for y'all. Please. Okay. It's do a cat out of South Central named Bell. B A L E, okay. man. He's huh. incredible. Okay. Working with everybody, too, back home right now. And he um, got shot two years ago. Well, a year and a half ago, 28 times. Ooh. And he lived? And survived. Whoa. Is he walking? He's a miracle from God. He's walking, talking, running, looking good, smelling good, feeling good. Bring him up here. I would like to. Wow. Bring him up I here. I almost flew. You know, it's funny. It's the way God see. That's how God works. Because uh -huh. mm. my, and, and you always, when the Lord puts something on your spirit, do it, man. Yeah. And that tells mm. me because I almost did. I'm, I'm here on something else. Yeah. So I didn't want to impose on that. But yeah. I will fly him. Bring me him personally. up here. Yeah, he got shot 28 times. His name is Bell. His, um, his name is DeMonte Bell. That's his real name. He played football in New Mex in Mexico. In New Mexico, excuse me. And uh, he was home visiting from school and Bell, was in front of his house. Hey, Bell, if you if you hear this, yeah. you know, because I'm sure Cron Down has got Sirius XM download on his phone. He could play it back on SiriusXM.com yeah. forward slash demand. I can. On demand. I can. Uh, Bell, you have open, you have an invitation uh, uh, from us here at Sway yeah. in the Morning. Come on the show and tell your story. Indeed. And he's not just because I'm saying because he, he took that. You know, went through that. No, I got to meet the man that took 28 bu yeah. bullets to live the Straight up. Incredible yeah. artist, an incredible yeah. rapper, and an incredible spirit. Yeah. And believer in God. And, and I, he has to be. I yeah. say he has to be because he survived something that I know no man <laughs> th that has. You know, I know brothers that's been shot one time. Yeah. And dead. Yeah. So. Facts. Yeah. Um, Facts. Shout out to Bell. UTL is his label. Undrafted. He's dope. So. I know a dude who got shot because he was standing next to a person that got shot, and the bullet went through that, that person's body and hit him, in a, uh, and it was a fatal injury. Goodness. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It crazy. wasn't even meant for him. Went through the body and hit him. Dang. And the person that hit first survived because they had a flesh wound. Oh, man. Come you got on. Man, you better count your blessings, hey, man. Hey, man. God is good. God is great, man. Crondon, I want to thank you for coming by today. Hey, thank you, guys. Uh, I want to say Marvin Crondon, uh, Jones the third. And, you know, uh, thank you for coming through. Proud okay. of you, man. Keep inspiring you, us, man. all right? Thank Tell you, Exhibit sir, and everybody I said yes, what up. I will. All right. I um, also want to thank Eric Bellinger for coming by. He got the hey. new album, Easy Call. It's a banger. It's great. Yes, it is. All right. Yes, all right. Mike Muse, thank you for coming through doing the political news. Y'all can reach out to Mike Muse anytime you want. At I am Mike Muse. M U S and Sam E on Twitter and Instagram. Tracy G. Citizens, love you guys. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram at it's Tracy G I T S T R A C Y G, and go to my site, cheesebeautyandthebeast.com. This is the first time I gotta say before I go. This you is the say first it? time that you what? didn't make me rap. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for that. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years in the game. Hey, Give it up for that. Let me tell you why. Yeah. Go ahead, Wonder. Go ahead, Wonder. <laughs> at DJ Wonder everywhere. What's up? What are we okay, doing? Um, Go. Rich Nice Digital on Instagram, Rich Nice Digital on um, Twitter, Sick. and the um, A&R Room uh, Roadshow is out now. You oh. see, you don't fucked up now, right? You know, oh. nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because uh, because uh, you have always, your family, you've always answered the bell. But I wanted to respect why you were up here today, what you were going to talk about in terms of playing the character to wow. uh, Tobias well. So... We got to do that. We got to respect that. And I love so, you, man. Yeah, absolutely. I love you for that. So, yeah, so next time. I promise I'll be here. I'm prepared now. Yeah. know that. Yeah, but, yeah, I know. But but I really love you and respect you for that so yeah. much, man. No, and, absolutely. And, I, and not, I'm here willing for whatever, whatever you want me to do, but you've been such a supporter and, a, and a, um, an igniter of my career so many times. And, and, you know, I come here to do, to perform and play with yeah. you all yeah. the time. So. Yeah. Yeah, th that, yeah, man. Yeah. That's you, the, that's, I, I, I'm like, or oh, okay, tight. That's why I keep saying your full name. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I, right. I put Crondon in there so folks who know, know. But Indeed. for those who watch Black Lightning, Marvin yeah. Jones the third. Yes. Tuesdays, uh, uh, 9, 9 o'clock, Eastern and Pacific, 8 p.m. Central. Shout out to my whole cast, Chris Williams, Nafisa, China, Christine, James, mm -hmm. Damon, Will. Mm -hmm. Sky, everybody. Tell Mr. Akil and Mrs. Akil I said hello. Yo, Mara and Salim, I love y'all so yeah, much. Man. Tell them I love them too, man. I met Mara. We we bumped into each other at LAX and we had a long And you know Salim from Richmond, though. Yeah. You know that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, so, the... yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> California. The I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> California. You know where Richmond is? Yeah. It's not California. Virginia, Heather. We're not talking Virginia. No, we're California. not talking about Virginia. No, no, no. no. That gay California. Area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, connect gang. Yes, um, you like my cube? 
man. <laughs> my, my, he, like that my was a cube. He could cube to make it. Cut on that gang. Cut on that gang. That was dub. That was dub. That's more dub. Cut on that gang. That's dub C. Yeah, cube. Cut on that gang. On stage, you yeah. get them mixed up, though. I can't front. Yeah, yeah. Tis my cube. You mean there's snakes in that there pond? <laughs> that was pretty good. From Anaconda. <laughs> that was pretty good. Starring J-Lo. You know, I remember People Anaconda. People forget too. the movies that Cube has done. I know. Yeah. You know? I just was watching movies. Three Kings the other day. Three Kings with him, Mark, and And, Tyra, and, uh, and, and uh, 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 my uh, man, uh, um, George Clooney. George what do you Clooney. mean? Yeah, yeah, George Clooney. Catch forget, like, Cube? Are We There Yet was huge. <laughs> Are We There Yet? Didn't he do two of those? Yeah. Yeah. He's a sequel maniac too, right? Cube. I just love Cube. He's another like he's my favorite rapper and and actor. Um, and I say that because you got to think he is the reason why I believe um, so many young and up and coming you know writers and producers and actors and directors yeah. um, have taken you know their projects in their own hands mm -hmm. i think he's one of the first to really like show youngsters that you could do it you could do you it know what i mean when he walked away from nwa that was like yeah. walking away from come on brother the beatles beatles yeah, yeah like yeah yeah, yeah man. Man. Like, that was real, like man. he walked away but yeah. to return with fridays yeah man mm -hmm. you know and boys in the hood did, boys in the hood yeah. i mean you gotta think barbershop yeah um the Ride Along, which is his recent successes, you know yeah. what I'm saying? One and two. Yeah. Um, he's just an example of no ceilings, man. And uh -huh. he was that early on. I mean, he was the first, you got to think, Cube is the first known, like, ghost writer, you know, that, mm -hmm. that people knew that, like, okay, this guy was the, the, the guy behind all of this. Well, on the West Coast, what, 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 what's called? West Daddy, Coast. Daddy Kane. Um, oh, well, Kane, yeah, yeah with yeah, Kane yeah. and him early well, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, yeah. 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 That was a, little, a little bit yeah, you were, before me. Yeah. As far as knowing, like, I knew yeah, Kane, I know, yeah. I love all that, but yeah. I didn't know, like, you the intricate, know. like, yeah. I, like, I knew that, you Kane, know. Kane wrote for Roxanne Shantae. Bitch wow. Marquee. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so we go back. But there's other ghost writers we don't know of. They didn't show that in the movie, the King, the Roxanne movie, which I love. They ain't gonna well, show that. She, 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 well, I don't know how many songs, but one in particular, Have a Nice Day, he Have wrote nice that. Day. We gotta go. Lord okay, sure is up. But love you, brother. It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shade 45.